As many of you will now know, the Witcher 3 modding tools have been officially released by CD Projekt Red, and you can find them all on Nexus Mods, and this is going to be the official place in which you can find most of the mods for Witcher 3 and where you can get the modding tools from. Now if you go to Nexus Mods and go to their news section, the top article will be all about the modding tools and will have some very useful quick links in there. You'll find a link that downloads the modding tools directly from the servers to your computer straight away without you going to any other pages, which is a very useful link indeed. And then you've got one for four sample mods. Now I'll go over these sample mods right now. They're official ones uploaded by CD Projekt Red and they basically are there for learning tools. You have one that teaches you how to modify game scripts, one that looks at replacing the textures of Geralt's starting outfit, and one that replaces Roach's textures and meshes. There is also another one that looks at modifying scripts as well, so you've got a lot of starting material there to work from. So if you want to start creating mods for The Witcher 3, what you first need to do is download the modding tools. And once you've done that, you'll find you have three files. You've got the setup XE, which will obviously install the tools for you, and two PDFs. The first one, the quick guide, it just tells you the basic file structure in which you need to create your mods in and where to put them. The second one is a longer guide and goes through the mods that CD Projekt Red have loaded to the Nexus and teaches you the tips and tricks in which they use to create them. And that's probably the more extensive and useful guide if you're starting off new in modding. And if you're simply wanting to just use mods in Witcher 3, you first need to find out where your Witcher 3 installation directory is. For me it's underneath my Steam library then Witcher 3, and it's the one that has the bin folder in it. Then you need to ensure that you have the folder entitled Mods. For now mine's completely empty, but just make sure that you have that folder already in there if you don't, before you install any mods, otherwise they won't know where they're going. Next you need to update and rescan for your games using the Nexus Mod Manager. You can manually install the mods by dropping them into that mods folder which we just created, but I prefer to use the Nexus Mod Manager because it makes things a little bit more simple. Then if you are using the Nexus Mod Manager, you need to head along to the page where the mods are located and you can simply click download with manager. Launch the application and this, as you can see by the flashing icon, is now downloading the mod to the Nexus Mod Manager. Now I need to do is find out where I put it up at the top window here, which is just there under the miscellaneous, and then click this arrow with the folder to install it, like you would with all of the mods using the Nexus Mod Manager. Then if we go back to that mods folder that we made, we'll see that the Mod Unicorn mod that I've just downloaded has now been installed. So let's take a look at what this looks like in-game. Uninstalling the mods is also very simple, and it seems to have no effect on the saved game, unlike with Skyrim. Now if you're familiar with Nexus Mod Manager, you'll know exactly what to do, but for those who don't, all you need to do is highlight the mod you want to remove, and click the icon with the red removal arrow, and this will deactivate the mod in your game. So I've done that now, you can see a red X appear next to the mod name, and if I go back to that mod folder that we created earlier, you'll see, if I just refresh it for a second, that the folder has now been completely removed and the mod will no longer load up in game. So that's a small insight into the modding tools for The Witcher 3. Obviously I didn't go much into how to create mods and I'm sure tutorials like that will be present in the future and probably fairly soon. As you can see the process of using mods in your game is very simple indeed, even more so than games like Skyrim and Fallout. And if you do use mods in those games, you'll pick it up very quickly indeed. And even if you don't, you will as well. And it's definitely something you should look at doing if you play the game on PC. It's well worth trying mods out in your game. It does add a lot of new content and sometimes, and in many cases, makes the game even more enjoyable. I'm really excited to see what the modding community comes up with for this game. There's a lot of potential there and a lot of things that could be added to make the game even better than it already is. As always, I'll be featuring those mods on the channel, so stay tuned for those. And if you have any mods that you'd like to recommend, please do by posting them in the comments or getting in touch with me via Twitter, etc. And I'll be sure to take a look. As always, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.